we are going to do three things, right? We're going to look at your muscles, okay? Mm -hmm. We're going to look at your bones, and then we're going to start to give you some stretches and exercises to work on at the end of the point, all right? Mm -hmm. So a couple things happen. One, positionally, if you sit at the computer all day long and you're always a little crooked like this, your muscles and your skeletal system, your spine can get kind of shifted out of whack, right? And you can end up having discomfort, aches, pains, um, imbalance, right? Mm -hmm. Imbalance between the left and the right shoulder blade. And you can kind of feel like this side's good, it's better, mm -hmm. this side's not better, right? So it's definitely worse. So mm -hmm. it's very common to develop these um, muscular imbalances in between the shoulder blades, uh, and in between the head and the neck, and I'm gonna kind of feel your neck now. Well, I am starting to feel like I'm walking different. Crooked, right? Mm -hmm. So what happens to your whole body when we look at this picture over here, mm -hmm. everything should be generally square and straight, mm -hmm. but then we start to maybe like work a little crooked, and then before you know it, our core gets twisted, and then our hips get twisted, and then we're walking around and we're all like, mm -hmm. now you start to hike a whole bunch, and if you start paying attention to your feet and how you're moving throughout the day, you might notice one foot starts to turn out a little bit. So right shoulder problems typically become like left lower back and left hip problems, which then messes the knee up and the ankle and the whole way down, right? So our goal is to start to work out your muscle imbalances, number one. Two, go through some adjustments to help loosen your skeleton up, which feels good, but it's generally temporary. If you leave here and you go back to work and you're sitting crooked, or you drive your car on the way home today and you're not evenly sitting, nice yeah. and symmetrically, um, your body will, you know, it's gonna kind of resist what we're doing to it and you'll feel yourself mm -hmm. two days from now get crooked again, right? Mm -hmm. So ultimately our goal with each person, look down for me. And what we're doing here, just kind of palpating and feeling your upper left side of your neck, right? You have this little strain right here mm -hmm. and um, even bigger over on the right side. You feel this big kink right here, yeah. okay? Mm -hmm. So you have little vertebrae in your body, little bones in your body, and they start to get all all kinds of, like basically just muscles tighten up, and your skeleton starts to get a little twisted, and sometimes you got one or two that go this way, and one or two that go this way. Mm -hmm. And that occurs from muscle imbalances, like I keep saying, so mm -hmm. your posture is really important throughout the day. We'll go through some different posture exercises to help improve or symmetry between your shoulders, you go through some different stretches for your arms that will help you, but ultimately you have to start to recognize and understand if you're sitting at your desk and you're, you're um, <clears throat> like your legs forward and you're working a little crooked, this kind of distorts the whole, the whole, the whole body, yeah. right? And then we end up. I tend to sit on the end of my seat, that's funny that you did Which that. is good if we sit and we look at our feet and we make sure our feet are even either inward or outward or neutral and we work to really kind of work and stretch throughout the day but we don't want one foot to be forward and one foot to be backward and in that imbalanced position okay so let's go ahead and raise your left arm up and good and raise right arm up okay and left arm up straighten the elbow see how easy Back down, right arm up, straighten the elbow. A little more, you feel how it gets a little shaky in there. Back down. Let's raise left arm up, touch right shoulder blade. So hand's gonna come right back here and just kind of stretch this arm open, good. And now right arm up, do the same thing. And pretty even, yay, not too bad. Left arm's gonna come inside lower back and I want you to touch up here on the shoulder blade as high as you can. Right there, perfect, and back down and now right arm up. That's not bad though, it's pretty even, but you can feel the tension difference, oh, right? Yeah. So that's just a little orthopedic test that we use to kind of identify where problems are at um, within the shoulder blades, and it helps us to kind of determine that, again, you know, just kind of what we did on the palpation exam, we feel this big right-sided mm -hmm. knuckle, right? Now the other thing that happens, you can feel your left pec right here, maybe a little tender because it hasn't been worked on before, but you'll feel there's gonna be a little more imbalance or soreness, probably deeper in the right shoulder blade or the right clavicle right here, right? And then you can feel here, sore-ish, yay? Yeah. But definitely more sore on the right side, yeah. right? Yeah. 
and so part hold. of it is because I've worked out this morning and I'm like, uh, okay. I have some soul muscles. But Raise yeah. your left arm out to the side, press up into my hand. Good. Forward. Um, no, no, right here. Press up in my hand. Good. Come back here. Palm up. Press up. Good. Forward. Palm up. Press up. Good. Back down. Right arm out to the side. Hold here. Press up. Good. Forward. Press up. Good. Come back here. Palm up. Press up. Good. Forward. Palm up. Press up. Okay, a little weaker on that right side. Not too bad though. So here's what we're gonna start with today. Before we even lay you down to check out your lower back, and when you come here, I work on everything, right? So we're gonna kind of treat neck, mid back, low back, shoulders, all over the place, right? Um, probably gonna be a little sore after we start working on some of the muscle imbalances in the shoulders, mm -hmm. but you'll feel good as we, you know, I know you guys are coming from far away, so. We'll go through a couple stretches at the end of the appointment, things for you to work on, and then um, see when you can get down here, okay? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna look up straight, we're gonna look down straight, up, and down, up. And the first part of the treatment that we go through is a little myofascial release to help loosen up some of these knotted up fibrous muscles up around the spine, look up, Should I turn that off? I noticed um, when it, when uh, I get my hair cut, <laughs> when she goes to turn, you know, push my head this way to cut my hair on this side, yeah, I'm like can't go any further. Ah, uh, yeah, so that was probably the well. There were a lot of different things that was going on. So what you'll feel gradually, okay, and this is kind of like part of life, but it shouldn't be part of life. Unfortunately, it is part of life. Things all oxidize, right? Oxidation is rusting, okay? So metal rusts, cars rust, mm -hmm. everything breaks down, wear and tear. Your body undergoes the same oxidative um, degeneration, right? So things kind of tighten up. Your muscles, like this big thing up here, mm -hmm. really start to, they, they, they just get knotted up, right? Just like your hair, mm -hmm. okay? If you didn't comb your hair every day, it would get knotted up. If you laid in bed all week long and didn't comb your hair, you're going to get out of bed on day seven and your hair is going to be messed up no matter the fact that you didn't do any exercise or anything crazy, right? Mm -hmm. So it kind of naturally happens. Your muscles do the same thing. They routinely will develop little strains, um, little knots in them, little fibrous adhesions like that big thing that we feel right there. And gradually as life goes on and on and on and on, those muscles get tighter and tighter and tighter which, if you look down at that little skeleton right there, those muscles, they, like up at the base of the skull, those red things, they mm -hmm. kind of tighten up and they squish your head down, right? And the tighter that your neck gets, the less you can move around. Up, down, up, down, and the more discomfort you have. So, sit up tall, good. Now we're gonna do a little bit on the left side here, okay? What are you straight. using? This is just called Sombra. It's, um, it's like a little lotion. It's a cooling lotion. So it'll kind of seep, in, seep into the muscles and help to alleviate some of the discomfort. It helps us to just reduce friction on the skin so I can get down deeper into the different muscles throughout your neck, like the suboccipital muscles, right? Mm -hmm. So when we feel that big kind of swollen area way up top here, you can feel when I get up there, that whole thing right there, right? Mm -hmm. And this is what starts to kind of compress your neck. Those muscles, they squish your neck down, right? And then we end up with pain and shoulder problems and all that stuff going down into the arm, discomfort in the head and the neck. 
All right, now we're gonna give them the little shoulder. Look up straight, down straight. And then again, you work on a computer all day long, right? Most of the day, look up straight, mm -hmm. down straight, up straight, down straight, up straight, down straight. And so up straight, down straight. What we're gonna work on with you, up straight, down straight, are gonna be some postural exercises, up straight, down straight, up, down, up, down. We're gonna go whole way down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, but you can kind of zoom in right here, up, down. And what we're working on here are the upper trap. Can you feel that big bubble right mm -hmm. there? Oh my goodness, right? Mm -hmm. Up, down, up, down, shoulder down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We've got like spa music playing out. <laughs> Down. It's good stuff though. They had it on yesterday. I was like, wow, this is kind of mellow. And so what we're working on here is a couple of your shoulder muscles that hike the shoulder up. These muscles go from your shoulder blade right here mm -hmm. up to your neck, right? And so these things, when they get these little, these little, what we call, I say fibrous adhesion, right? When, when you get these little bumps, you feel that big thing right there. Oh, mm -hmm. not only is that thing like a, a major aggravator, right? It's like agitating it just kind of you feel it mm -hmm. every now and then it probably comes and goes a little bit more right some days you might feel it a whole bunch some days it might go away a little bit but the problem is, is that this is just like it's kind of like nodding up like this right, right? Yeah. and so it starts to pull on your shoulder and it starts to pull down in your head and neck right and then before you know it like maybe not right now you're not having a ton of pain but a year down the road you keep letting this stuff go and then then you're like all kinds of mm -hmm. twisted and shifted okay up down and then here's what we're gonna do look straight and we're gonna just kind of work the shoulder here to here and back and forth and back and forth and we're gonna lower that shoulder down like that back forth lower down back forth now I am gonna tell you are gonna be sore after this we're gonna mm -hmm. do some laser after we finish up all right then I'm going to go through some stretches with you to start you at home, right? To start helping yourself to, to uh, loosen this stuff up. Typically what we would see you, you know, for like two weeks, we would work on you for about twice a week for two weeks. Mm -hmm. Look up straight for me, down straight, up, down, up, down. Try to you know make it down here whenever you whenever you're down here. Call, make an appointment, and we'll dig this stuff out. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Up, and down. Okay. Come out here, and we're gonna go forward and across body like this. Back, forward, shoulder downward, like that, perfect. Back, forward, back, forward. I had like three people yesterday ask, how should I carry my luggage? I'm like, oh, she shot a video. <laughs> That's weird you say that. All right, now you can feel how both shoulders, you okay here? Both shoulders kind of tight, right? Mm -hmm. um, now we should have nice, your shoulder joints like a ball in a socket, right? Mm -hmm. So the right arm, your shoulder comes up and it sits here. And there should be some space for the shoulder to move in. But when, when your muscles are all real tight, the shoulder gets like real compressed. And when the shoulder's compressed or any joints compressed, that's when we start to get things like, like, like discomfort, range of motion, pain, mm -hmm. and ultimately like arthritis, like the bad stuff that 
So what we're gonna do, a little work in lower back, we're just gonna stretch your hips out, all right? And feel, you can just kind of relax there. So as we talked about, it's gonna look like straight down here. We're gonna look at, mom's gonna left hip, it, you see how it's a little higher than right hip, okay? So this is good, but come down here. Look at her, like left foot versus right foot. Okay, can you see how short this left side is? So remember I told you about how the right side's connected to the left side, yay? Mm -hmm. All right, so what's, what's going on in your lower back, because of all this tension up here, it kind of pulls and it distorts your hip muscles, right? Mm -hmm. And your SI joint. So you can probably feel right here, good, right? Mm -hmm. Versus feel this side here. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Okay, super sore, okay? Mm -hmm. So your sacrum, is your tail um, kind of like a bone right here in your hip mm -hmm. and then you've got your two hip bones okay mm -hmm. so i'm going to show you just today this is going to be a little sore this is going to be like something super sore, super sore right mm -hmm. and so very common that we develop this like shoulder to opposite hip discomfort uh -huh. and your muscles like this way they get real tight and they pull the whole way down here in the leg so some people can get things like shin splints, right? Mm -hmm. And calf pain and knee pain and IT band problems. And it's all linked way back up here into your shoulder. So all this stuff's connected, right? Mm -hmm. All right, bend this leg up. That's pretty good, okay? Knee seems to be pretty good. Bend this leg up, a little tighter, right? Mm -hmm. So we got three, four inches here, bend here and we can get heel to butt like no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's work on this hip. Now this is your first time kind of getting worked out the way that we work people out, that I work people out here. And we're gonna just go through and just do a general hip treatment to your lateral leg muscles, your glute med muscles, your glute min muscles. And if anything's tender, you let me know, okay? Too tender, right? If you can handle this pressure right through the hip here. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. That right there. Oh, killer, right? Mm -hmm. So as we start to kind of unwind your body, let me explain this to you. It's like when you wash your car, right? And you have to wring out the dirty towel. It's better to wring it out both ways, right? Not just one way. If you wring it out the same way, Wring that towel out the same way. Your body is just getting twisted the same way, okay? So we're gonna try to unwind or untwist your body. And these muscles that are inflamed and irritated, they are gonna be a little sore after we work on them, but after we loosen these guys up a couple times, you'll see you're gonna feel much better, okay? Bend here, and already we got knee to mm -hmm. hip. And what we've got to start to loosen up here is just all this tension right around this left hip, okay? So I'm gonna push gently, you okay with this pressure here? Yeah. Good. And we're gonna go over to this left side and you're gonna feel this whole left hip is gonna be a little tighter, a little more swollen. Feel this movement here? Mm -hmm. Pretty decent, right? No pain or anything? Mm -hmm. Correct, good. And then this side is gonna be, you're gonna have a little more. Is there any pain at all or no? No. No. You can tell it's a little tighter though, right? This side's like nice and loose. Mm -hmm. This side has just a little bit of stickiness. Okay. So I'm gonna raise your shirt right up to about here, all right? And what we're gonna do is a little muscle work in your lower back, okay? okay. So <clears throat> when I work with people, we do three things, right? One, muscle work, okay? Two, we're gonna get some adjustments today, and then three, we're gonna go through some different exercises. Now, you are gonna feel right here, okay? When I rub right here, there's a, a big swollen area right here, right? And you'll see the right side. You 
can kind of feel right through here. You feel this thing right here? There's just a little bit of lumpy tissue there. The left side's gonna be a little worse over here. You have a little bit right there. And so your muscles, they get real tight and they compress your spine and your other joints. Doesn't matter where it's at. It could just be spine or it could happen down in your knee. But you can kind of feel this stick spot right there. You feel that thing right in there? Mm -hmm. Is that tender at all or not too bad? No, it's not. Not at all? Awesome. Do you feel this big wrinkle right there, though? Yeah, that's not sweet. A little sore, deep, right? So I'm going a little deeper, but you got one little muscle strain right there, and that's what's muscle strain or just a old injury to your lower back. And this is all linked into, again, that upper right shoulder, your left hip tension. Breathe in deep for me, and exhale out. And I am using some pretty decent pressure today, so if you say it's too much, I'll lighten up a little bit, but if you're good with this pressure, go right with it. Deep breath in, exhale out. Good. Bend up here again. We're gonna come in and out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out. And we can maybe just do like a voiceover for this mm -hmm. And you can kind of cut clips. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it. Make it, it like, you know, quicker. Mm -hmm. We can talk a little bit maybe about we can just do a voiceover and talk a little bit about um, shoulder problems, back problems. We can kind of zoom up on the clip of her leg being real tight, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little work down here in your calf too, your left calf, all right? Because these calf muscles, you feel right here behind the knee right here? Is that okay? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Good, good, good. You just tell me if it's too much, all right? And what we're doing here is just, again, it's kind of like ironing your clothes or combing your hair. We're just helping to start to work out some of these tight, fibrous areas throughout the body. And break up some of those, some of those muscular knots or adhesions I said okay all right so now we got feet a little more level let's do this side like right there yeah okay so that thing is just a vertebrae that's way stressed backwards right and then you've got a few little guys you can feel on the right side right here kind of like how knotted up this whole stuff is right here yeah okay So we will work on a little bit of a stretch. I'm gonna grab right here in your hip. So just relax your legs down. Okay, so I'm just gonna stretch right here. Easy, easy. And one more here, good, good. All right, that's just gonna help stretch that spine out. Go ahead, take deep breath in for me. Exhale out, a little baby bit of an exhale, good. Breath in for me. Exhale out, whole way out, one more. Deep breath in. Exhale out, whole way out. Good, one more in. Exhale out. All right, so we got a little work to do with Mama Bear. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, all right, nice and easy. We're gonna do this left side. I'm gonna lower this down here. And what we're gonna do, easy on the left shoulder. And one more on the right shoulder. And one more on the right. All right, face down for me. So all of these little joints here, okay, you know how you feel, good? Mm -hmm. All these little joints here, are, we're, we're gonna work towards getting them loose, right? Mm -hmm. But you've got all these super tight muscles around, and so as we dig these guys out, 
And I'm gonna show you some stretches to work on today to help you get a little looser before your next appointment here. So we can get all of this dug out, all right? Loosened up. Actually, I'm gonna pick shirt up, okay? And the, again, the muscles, they kind of, they seize up and they start to really twist and pull your skeleton. And things like yoga and different exercises, definitely movement, movement is important, but doing the right movement for the right areas, that's what will help teach you, okay? We're gonna scooch right down for me here. Yeah, your whole body's gonna be tingly after we <laughs> start working out all these different areas, okay? Look up towards ceiling, straight up. We're gonna straighten bottom leg. Now we're gonna get a little bit of movement in the lower back, relax that. Go to the other side, <laughs> okay? <clears throat> bottom leg straight, and top leg bent right here. Scooch towards me here like this. Like this, okay, you okay there? Oh yeah. Good. Here, here, deep inhale, deep exhale, relax that upper body, whole way out. Good, flat your back, nice. Okay. So, leg up, straight knee, push down to my shoulder, so push, stop, push, and stop, and push, and stop, good. This knee right here, and a little bit, good. Relax your feet for me, let me hold. Okay. Bend up here, and we're gonna turn out. You can see how this side's a little tighter on this side. Push down to my hand, stop, push, and stop. Does that feel pretty good up the back of the leg though? Mm -hmm. Push, it's all, I mean it's all stop. Tight, but it's, it's Feels pretty good, right? Bend knee here. So your upper back, we want to get that upper back nice and loose. That's going to take us a couple adjustments to really help loosen that, that upper okay. spine up, right? Okay, we're going to go nice and easy in the neck. Put hands right here like this, shoulder blades down, all right? And what we're going to do, good. One here, shoulders down. Awesome. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> awesome. I don't think I've ever seen, heard that many cracks in my neck. That was good. That's because we did a little muscle work first to help loosen it up. Push shoulder uh, or foot down into my shoulder. Stop. Push. Stop. And push and stop. Good. One more time through over this side. Go ahead. Push. Stop. Push. And stop. All right. Sit up tall for me. What we're gonna do, just one more. We're gonna see if we can get that mid-back a little bit better throughout this mid-lower back. So we're gonna cross left hand up like this, right hand up like this, right? And we're gonna go right through here, deep inhale. Exhale out as we lay back, whole way exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale, whole way out. All right, one more inhale. Exhale, whole way out. All right, spin over to left for me. Okay, let's raise that left arm up straight overhead straighten the elbow good back down right arm up straight overhead a lot easier that right elbow straight back down all right now what we're gonna do with you is teach you a couple stretches because we have to continue you have to really work on decompressing your shoulders right mm -hmm. now we got good movement in the lower back we got good movement up in your neck your neck's gonna feel really awesome it's gonna be a little sore though but what we need to learn how to do is get this tension out of your mid scapular region right here, right? right? So let's bend this left arm up. Good. One more here. Awesome. All right. And then lastly, now you can feel how we're starting to get some movement in the left shoulder and even a little bit in the right, right? But the left side's still a little better, okay? All right. So one exercise we're going to work on is going to be real simple palms up, elbows in. We're gonna give you a nice big squeeze right here, not 
up into the shoulder. So you see how soft here? Mm -hmm. And you see how this side's a little more toned, right? Mm -hmm. A little more toned, a little tighter. So what we're gonna do is squeeze back and down with the shoulders like that. 